Our topic is to explain how the federal system of the United States divides powers between national and state government. The question of how power should be divided between the national government and the states is really what American politics has been about for well over two centuries. It is a question debate by the delegates to the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia in 1787 debated by nationalists and anti-nationalists during the ratification period and debated between and within our political parties ever since. Elections have been won and lost on this question and the Civil War was fought over it. Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution states that the Congress shall have power to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers and all other powers vested by this Constitution in the government of the United States or in any department of officer thereof. The U.S. Constitution established a government based on federalism or the sharing of power between state and national government. Some people say the national government must maintain the right in all circumstances to overrule state laws, but others say that the Tenth Amendment states that all powers not reserved for the national government are granted to the state government. The state government has the power to ratify amendments, manage public health and safety, oversee trade within their state, and they have power over the state's education. When the U.S. was 13 states, the new found states formed the Articles of Confederation. In this system, the state had majority of the power and the national was weak. Our leader saw that the nation was weak because of this, so they wrote the Constitution. Shay's Rebellion proves that the Articles of Confederation was weak, while almost overthrowing the U.S. government with 2,500 poor farmers. In 1824, there was a case, Gibbons versus Ogden, and there was a decision in which the Supreme Court held the power to regulate interstate commerce. Gibbons was given permission by the state government, and Ogden was given permission by the national government, and this caused a conflict between the two and it created the Supreme Court that ruled that the national government has the control over the waterways. National and state governments share the power to levy taxes, the power to borrow money, and the power to charter corporations. The Tenth Amendment is the last amendment in the original Bill of Rights. It was added to assure delegates from all the states that the national government would not try to get around the laws established in the Constitution. The national government is divided into three levels. The United States government is divided into three different levels. At the top you have the national government, in the middle you have the state government, and at the bottom you have the local government. The higher up you go, the more power you get. I'm Hunter Clark. This is Austin 2. That's Adam Jelly. Thanks for watching our movie.